You know those blogs that claim that you can make 247 outfits out of nine tops and three pairs of pants? Well, I'm not buying it, and here's why. The first problem with a capsule wardrobe is when you're scrolling through all the beautiful images online and the aesthetic is gorgeous and they all go together, all of a sudden it might dawn on you, I actually don't have any of that. I don't have a blue and white striped t-shirt. I don't have a gray and white striped t-shirt. I don't have a mock turtleneck and off-white and I don't have off-white trousers. I don't have navy trousers and I don't have the perfect pair of jeans and I don't have an off-white blazer and I don't have a black blazer and I don't have an infinity scarf and I don't have the right jewelry. And then pretty soon you're just like, you know what? I'm out because I don't have any of that. I'm not going to go to the store and buy all that. So I'm just going to wear the same old stuff that I have anyway. <laughs> so what you can do instead is just start with what you do have. You don't have to start from scratch and go out and buy all these different items that go together. You know, every single item goes with everything. Start with what you do have, figure out what outfits you can make, and then maybe build on that. Maybe you can find a couple things that would go with a few different items, but just don't feel like everything has to go together. And also don't feel like you need to run out and buy $1,000 worth of clothes to make your perfect capsule wardrobe. Another problem with a capsule wardrobe is you're just asking everything to wear too many hats. And I'm not talking like hats, I'm talking jobs, like take the white t-shirt. If you look at those capsule wardrobes, they literally have the white t-shirt in every single outfit. So you're asking that white t-shirt to be the base layer in a dressy outfit, the base layer in a casual outfit, its own layer on like a warm day, or maybe over the top of another tank top, or maybe over the top of a sweater, or under a blazer, or under a jean jacket, or with trousers, or with jeans. And I'm telling you, I don't know when you're supposed to wash that white shirt, but not on any day of the week, because you're wearing it every single day. So I don't know, also maybe you're supposed to have seven white t-shirts, but then doesn't that kind of take away the whole math that we all love about how many outfits you can make out of so many items of clothing? So I don't know, too many hats. <laughs> So what you can do instead of asking so much of one article of clothing is to try and find a few different basics that you can have in your wardrobe that go with multiple things. So you don't have to wear that white t-shirt every single day. You can wear the white t-shirt under something one day and you might have a gray or some different neutrals that would go with lots of different items in your wardrobe. It seems like every clothing brand has their own line of basics. You can get stuff on Amazon or at Target or, you know, pretty much any department store has a line of basics and just figure out which ones you like and then buy them in a couple different colors. Here's another problem with a capsule wardrobe. You're going to get too hot. I don't know about you, but I look at some of these outfits and I'm like, I don't want to wear a t-shirt and then a button down over that and then a sweater and then a jean jacket. I'm already sweating just thinking about it. But if you're going to make so many outfits out of so minimal amount of clothing, you really have to combine them in lots of different ways, which the keyword here is combine. So you're not just adding a top with a pair of pants, you're adding four tops and a pair of pants plus a scarf or six tops plus a skirt and tights and boots or something but the whole thing it just sounds so hot to me i think instead what you could do is just have as many tops as you want to wear and then just pair them with pants and you can just wear one top with one pair of pants and that to me sounds a lot more comfortable than bulking up with six layers of items just to make a different outfit Here's another problem with a capsule wardrobe, this combination of all these clothes. You're not fooling anybody. If you're wearing the same clothes basically every day, except you're only changing up the way the, the, the color of the, the neutral color of the cami that is peeking out here, or a little bit of sleeve that's maybe peeking out underneath another sleeve, because the key here is layers, nobody can tell the difference. It looks like you're wearing the same thing every single day. So you might think you have 36 different outfits, but really you only have four different outfits. It's just a little bit different. It's like playing that picture game where you have to figure out what the difference is between the two pictures. That's probably what everyone around you is playing. What looks different today than yesterday? Because it's really hard to tell, but this is a fun game. Let's try and figure it out. So instead of trying to make a bunch of different outfits using just a minimal amount of clothing. Kind of a common theme here, but just wear what you have, start with what you have, figure out what you might like to add to your wardrobe to make it work for you a little bit better. Maybe you can put together a few more outfits. Don't feel like you need to use the same items of clothing in different ways and make it look like you have all these different outfits because again, you're not fooling anybody. I shouldn't even say that, but I think it's kind of funny and you just wanna be comfortable in what you're wearing. 
Another problem with a capsule wardrobe is if you like color, you're pretty much screwed because if you look at all those pictures, it's all neutrals. You maybe could pick one pop of color as your special pop of color, but you better hope you don't change your mind about which color you want to be your pop of color because that's your one colored item. So everything's neutral, all neutral, off-whites, white, navy, black, gray. That's your options, no color. So instead of having a closet full of neutrals and maybe that one pop of color, I say just get whatever colored items you want. Say you love bright yellow and you have one bright yellow shirt, wear that as many times as you want because who really cares? So of course this video is just meant to be fun. It's not to offend anybody or anything. Although I do agree with a lot of the points that I made, maybe just not as dramatically as I came across in the video. But if you're looking to declutter your wardrobe and you're dreaming of that capsule wardrobe, the thing that you might actually want to consider instead is decluttering your wardrobe and trying to create a more minimal wardrobe, which I am all about. If you're interested in similar videos to this one about trying to organize and declutter our lives, click on one of the links I've got pinned here and please consider subscribing, liking the video, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.